Will you sit for me? You're so into nice. Nice. Oh, what a good boy. We met in 1999 uh, in Napa Valley at a restaurant called Terra. We uh, started off uh, in the beginning station, the pantry station together, and we found ourselves moving from one station to another basically together. And we would always love, like after work, we would just basically sit in someone's car or go to a bar and just rehash the dinner service. So we were always just like hungry to be better than, where, than what we were and, and to make improvements on, on a night service. And then we, we would have the ají amarillo actually in the potato or potato celery right, remix. So that, so that would give us a little bit of heat and right. freshness. That could be really good. I think that'd be nice, especially if we did celery. For years, celery. even long before we came to Portland, we had been playing with the menu that was the foundation of Ox. We always knew that we wanted to have a restaurant that was centered on a wood-burning grill. We love the food that comes from it, and there was always a desire to incorporate some of my South American heritage as well. Without Gabby, doing what she does, and without without me doing what I do, um, Ox just wouldn't be the way it is, and we wouldn't be getting the recognition that we do right now. Is this the two cheese pies? Or I think so much of what we do, there is so much of both of us in each dish. We've taken the, the Argentine-inspired menu, and we've taken things like the pork chop, which we grill. Um, but we brine it in a maple brine. We also serve it with a little bit of maple syrup on it as well. That is probably something you would not see in Argentina. But um, I'm originally from Vermont and I have a true love for maple syrup and it tastes delicious together. We feel very lucky that we always have somebody else that we can bounce ideas off of, that we can put a spoon in the other person's face. I mean, there's, you know, we're, there's not a dish that doesn't get tasted by the other person or even just a big batch of soup or whatever it may be, that we don't always get the feedback from the other person. So I think that really helps us really attain the balance that we're always looking for when it comes to cooking.